from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good Tuesday evening, everyone. I'm Matt Honig with your CNET forecast. Now, this is the calm before the storm. We did have a few light snow showers this morning, but now we're just looking at mostly cloudy skies across the Penn State skies this afternoon. And it's a chilly afternoon as well. Current temperature here in State College, 28 degrees, feeling like 20, though, with a bit of a brisk westerly breeze. Now, as I mentioned, we did have a few snow showers this morning. Those have since pushed well off to our east, and now we're just left with mostly cloudy skies. But zooming out, we're already talking about that next storm coming together. There are two pieces of energy with it. One is located across the south central United States, the other one located across the central plains. And these two pieces of energy are going to come together and form a new storm over us. It's going to bring a very messy wintry mix to our area tomorrow. As for winter weather alerts going into effect tomorrow, we do have a winter weather advisory now just issued for the state college area. So we are expecting at least three to six inches of snow in addition to some sleet and ice accumulation. And I'll talk about that in just a moment. To our north, a winter storm warning for the potential for as much as six, maybe even 10 inches of snow. Now this winter storm warning off to our south isn't necessarily meaning they're going to get more snow, but what they will get is more freezing rain. Yes, there could be some significant ice accretion across this region. That's why the weather service issued that winter storm warning. But as for tonight, it's a dry evening not looking like any snow throughout the evening hours. It's not until the wee hours of the morning or by dawn that we start to see some light snow move into our region. A low tonight of around 20 degrees. Now let's time out that snow for you. Overnight tonight, like I said, dry, but even waking up as early as 6.30, 7 a.m., it should be snowing rather moderately, and we will see some heavy bands at times. There could even be snowfall rates one to maybe even two inches per hour. Now, as we go throughout the day, you know, as temperatures really don't warm much. We never really get above freezing, but see, when we get into the upper levels of the atmosphere, then we will see a little bit of warm air start to intrude our region. That's going to turn any snow over to a period of sleet or even freezing rain, and that's going to create some very treacherous travel across our region tomorrow. So if you can avoid travel at all, please do so, as it will be very slick, especially on the roadways and sidewalks as we head into tomorrow afternoon. All of this snow does wrap up late Wednesday, and I think by Thursday we are mostly cleared out. So when all is said and done here, we're talking about a good three to six inches across the center region, State College included in that. Areas just to the north though, especially north and northeast of Williamsport, six inches is a good bet. A few places could see locally as much as 10 inches of snow. Once you get south of the Pennsylvania Turnpike, it's not looking like much of an event whatsoever. Maybe a quick one to three inches, but remember, the big story down in this region, this part of Pennsylvania, is the fact that we're going to be seeing some freezing rain, and that's going to create very dangerous travel. So do avoid traveling places like uh, Altoona, Bedford, and Johnstown as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Now as for the next seven days, thankfully it calms down a little bit for Thursday. Just a mixture of sunshine and clouds and highs in the upper 20s. By Friday though, we could see a few light snow showers coming in during the afternoon hours, but by the weekend we might be tracking a bit more potent storm moving into our region. It's still yet to be seen whether we'll see mostly snow or mostly rain, so I left the potential for both in there, but of course you want to stay tuned for the Campus Weather Service as we get closer to that event. Now we will be keeping you updated with all winter weather coverage all throughout tonight and even into the day tomorrow, so stay tuned for us as we'll have more updates on this winter storm. That's my latest forecast for now. Thank you and have a great rest of your evening.